Hi everyone, so today we are going to talk about 10 project ideas that you can use to build a machine learning or a deep learning project for your college or maybe for your resume, okay? So we are going to discuss different uh, projects based upon different topics and based upon different difficulty levels that you can do after completing this machine learning online course, okay? So let's begin with the first project. So the first project is going to be a rock paper scissors game and it's going to be a relatively easier project. So what you need to do in this project is two people will show their hands in the front of screen and each hand can be classified into one of the three categories rock paper or a scissor. And based upon what you have seen, uh, let's say for uh, uh, 10 frames you classify what type of hand it is and you make a prediction okay this is a rock this is a paper so maybe you will say okay player 2 is the winner okay so you will show the result on the screen and now you can uh, make this project on a different difficulty levels okay the easiest way is you give two fixed boxes in which you have to show your hand and then you can use open cv thresholding to uh, just uh, get a black and white picture of the hand okay so you will remove the background using thresholding and you will get the shape of the hand and using a simple classifier such as a logistic regression classifier or a simple neural network you can classify okay this hand is a scissor or this hand is a paper or this hand is a rock and you can do it for both the hands okay for player one and player two and depending upon the rules okay like uh, rock beats scissor paper beats rock you can show the result who is the winner on the screen and maybe you can run this game for um, 10 times or 20 times whatever you want okay so you need to do it on a live video you will uh, take input from the user uh, the hands of two players and then you will make predictions you will classify what type of hand it is and accordingly based on the two predictions you will show the results okay and if you want to add some increased difficulty to this game so what you can do instead of keeping this uh, box as a fixed position you can uh, do it like this you can say okay um, I will use object detection algorithm to first figure out where the player one hand it is okay so maybe you can divide the screen into two parts and the left, left part is for player one the right part is for player two and accordingly you can first use object detection then you can do classification and then you can so show the result okay but as a beginner i will suggest you just keep the box position fixed and you take only that part of the image which is inside the box for the classification that will make the work easy for you okay so i hope you got this idea the next project is going to be about uh, image based search engine okay so you might must have your, uh, used google search and here there is an option to upload an image and you get similar images to that particular image so something similar you can also build what do you need to do okay so suppose i give you this image of a flower and i will ask you okay give me similar images of flowers which are similar to this okay so let's say you are getting these images okay so how we are going to achieve this is uh, we will actually find similarities between images based upon their feature vectors okay and now you might ask how do we get a feature vector and the answer is very simple you can use a convolutional neural network and that is going to um, that is going to be a pre-trained model such as ResNet you will pass the image through the ResNet and from the fully connected layer you will get the feature vector okay and using cosine similarity or some other uh, kind of similarity between two feature vectors you can say if uh, feature vectors of two images are similar that means they will also have similar uh, visual features similar appearance and if you want to get top 10 images then you can just find out the most uh, similar images to the given image okay that will help you to build a simple uh, recommendation engine for images okay so third is landmark landmark detection again a very interesting and a very um, useful technique okay so landmark detection is all about finding key points maybe you want to find the location of joints in the body or maybe some 
की फीचर्स इन द फेस ओके की लोकेशन ऑफ सम फीचर्स इन द फेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड वॉट आर द पॉइंट्स दैट कॉरेस्पॉन्ड टू आईज वॉट आर द पॉइंट्स दैट कॉरेस्पॉन्ड टू नोज वॉट आर द पॉइंट्स दैट कॉरेस्पॉन्ड टू लिप्स ओके सो फॉर दिस ऑल्सो यू नीड सम काइंड ऑफ सी एन एन फॉलोड बाय अ रिग्रेसर एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू प्रिडिक्ट वॉट आर द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट की पॉइंट्स ऑन द फेस इट कैन बी फॉर्मुलेटेड एज अ सुपरवाइज लर्निंग प्रॉब्लम यू कैन यूज दिस टू बिल्ड कूल स्नैपचैट फिल्टर्स ओके सो डिफिकल्टी आई रेटेड एज ईजी बिकॉज इफ यू जस्ट यू हार कास्केट्स इन ओपन सी वी लाइक वी हैव डन इन द ऑनलाइन कोर्स एज वेल दैट वुड मेक द वर्क रियली ईजी फॉर यू बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग एडवांस यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड योर ओन मॉडल दैट डज द वर्क फॉर यू देन you 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 have to use some kind of cnn plus regression and you can read more about it okay so once you get the key points you can use it to build a snapchat filter or something okay or you want to classify what type of activity a person is doing the next project that we have already done in the course is about a uh, caption bot and here i'm going to discuss one more application that you can uh, build by extending this project okay so i would rate this difficulty as hard because it involves lot of concept it involves uh, computer vision it involves nlp so we have cnn we have we will use lstm based model uh, we have a language model we also used transfer learning because we used a pre trained resnet and data pre processing again is obviously one of the most uh, exhaustive thing in this project okay so we have seen that if you give given image it produces some text about that image okay so you are basically describing an image in the form of a sentence okay so this is what this model does and one application that you can do is you can extend this project for uh, assistive vision in case of a blind person okay so let's say you fix a camera in the face uh, in the forehead of a blind person it sees the image that image goes through the camera camera sends that image to the model model gives you the text and maybe you can use some api such as google text to voice api to convert that into voice and that voice goes into the ear of the blind person so that if a blind person is walking on a road or walking on a scene then he can hear about what uh, what is in the front of him if a dog is uh, crossing a road in front of him so camera will capture the image and our model will tell what is happening in the scene okay so you can just extend this project and or maybe do it as a hackathon project also okay so this is one application that you could do music generation again very interesting project so you will learn about music theory language models lstms so you can use deep learning to generate some music so you can start with a random node and you can uh, build a model that will generate sequential data and that data can be converted into music files okay so we have covered this project as a part of the online machine learning and deep learning course so you can uh, have a look at this project as well okay then again uh, you you can also use build some projects using gans so in gans there are lot of variations some of the variations we have covered like the vanilla gan and dc gan there are other gans such as conditional gans uh, pg gans okay so those gans are quite advanced but they produce very good quality of images so if you have uh, access to gpus you can try using one of these gans or you can just use a simple dc gan or a conditional gan and you can generate some cartoons and uh, if you use a conditional gan you can also generate data based upon a class okay so in a normal gan in a vanilla gan you don't have any control on what category of image it will produce but if you use a auxiliary classifier gan or a ac gan you can actually uh, generate an image uh, conditioned on the class of that image okay for example i want to want to generate a dog image then you can say okay my input is a dog give me a dog picture so gan will generate a dog picture okay so it can generate an image based upon class input okay so you can learn about ac gan uh, c gans and if i get time i will also add some videos on these type of gans okay so next project is about uh, text summarization machine translation so again it's based upon sequence to sequence models it's a supervised learning project 
So what do you need to do? You want to convert one text form into another text form. Okay. So for example, you want to convert from English to French or English to Hindi, uh, or you want to convert a bigger paragraph into a shorter paragraph. All these projects can be done using machine translation. Okay. So third is called text summarization. First one is called language translation. Okay. So all of these are applications of machine translation and uh, it, it is going to take a lot of time to train obviously because uh, the data set is huge one reason and another reason is the vocab is very huge okay so when you talk about English to German translation okay so you will see the vocab size is let's say 30,000 or 40,000 so it means if you make a one hot word a one hot vector for each word it's going to take 30,000 space okay and if you have a batch of sentences then you will see the tensor size is going to be too big okay so you will have batch length then the sequence length and then the depth okay something of this form okay so again it's going to be a pretty uh, hard project you will need a lot of gpus to train and <coughs> final output would be you will be able to convert a long article into a small summary paragraph okay then you have you can use object detection so for object detection i will recommend you use the uh, you do not train the models from the scratch you fine tune the models provided by tensorflow or pytorch and most of the topics that you would be using will be based upon the cnn most of the models that uh, these object detection uh, algorithms or object detection models use have a cnn based backbone and some of the architectures you can study from the research paper is faster rcnn yolo you only look once and single shot detectors okay so i will recommend going through the papers of these and you will also find open source implementations in tensorflow keras pytorch so whatever framework you want to use you can use it and using this project you can detect different type of objects present in the scene again it's a kind of supervised learning training so if you have a data set in which you have these objects as labeled for those objects you can uh, do this kind of a project okay so it can be used in medical domain also you want to detect like, a certain type of blood cells okay so you will find one uh, data set called uh, bccd data set that is a data set of blood cells it's a small data set and you can even i think train a model from scratch uh, on that data set okay then uh, another application in computer vision is about image segmentation so again, um, there are various segmentation architectures that you can study and what is the difference between classification? So classification just gives you what is there, what is there in this image. Okay. This image is of a dog object detection gives you where this object is present. Okay. And what this object is instant segmentation gives you a pixel level classification of each object. Okay. So you have three dogs and you are able to extract each instance of the dog and you can see the boundary that you are getting is a pixel level boundary okay so there are different architectures such as mask rcnn unit that you can do to uh, you can use to do segmentation task again it's slightly hard and if you use a open source implementation it's not very difficult to use it and train a model on it okay and one extra project that is not uh, directly deep learning but it also combines the ideas from reinforcement learning so it's uh, we have studied about q learning so you can extend q learning uh, techniques or you can use deep rl techniques to make bots for a lot of games okay so one one very popular game is atari breakout you can make a bot that learns how to play a uh, atari game okay so that's all for this uh, video guys i hope you got a couple of ideas or a couple of uh, new ideas that you can work upon and you can build some of the projects for your resume okay so all right thanks a lot for watching this video bye bye